Hi guys, Mr. Rain here. This video, I'm going to show you the locations to the big flatfish and the big mackerel. Eventually, we have the locations. Now, this is a temp fix, and I was very apprehensive as to whether or not this was all going to pan out, because I'm used to seeing things like this. Fisher uh, swimming in the middle of nowhere. That's my favorite glitch to date. Absolutely love it. But in the end, it did all pan out, and I was able to get the flatfish and the mackerel, and uh, was able to get the swordfish as well. So I want to show you exactly where I am. Now, at first, I was like, okay, I need two big flatfish to fill or fulfill the order that is currently open on most people's games right now. But uh, that is not the case, guys. If you find one flatfish or two flatfish, keep fishing because you'll need five in total of these suckers. Took me about hour and a half, two hours to get all five flatfish and uh, the battles are brutal. This one was a long time. I'm going to speed this up now times four and you will see how long it takes. It took about four or five minutes for this battle. Now I'm not going to show the battles to all of them but I will show me catching all five just so you can see that it is possible and then I want to show you the location to the mackerel. Absolutely beautiful fish, my favorite fish and then I want to show you the swordfish. Now I'm not going to show you uh, the battling of the swordfish because um, I want to get the stats up to the max so I need to do some upgrading on that and I'm most definitely will release a video on the max stats of that to see how powerful it is and so on and so forth but here we go the first big flat fish ever seen and uh, we're going to give it a big fat kiss i want to have a good look at it now it's massive but uh, that isn't the thumbnail i decided to use i use a different thumbnail as we will see so let me show you exactly where we are you can see the one fish there. That's a regular flatfish, that one. So we are in the south-southwest down the corner there. And uh, in this area right over here. Now, it's misleading online. It tells you to go to the bridge. Do not go to the bridge. Go right over here in this area. Just get a boat and go in a circle in this area right in front of me. And you will catch these guys. And if you can't find them, then meditate, come back, or fast travel. And you will catch them. As you can see, there's another one right there. Uh, showing the map again just exactly where I am. It's always going to be in the slot right over here, in the estuary, in the entranceway. Although I think the river's flowing into the ocean here. Yeah, it looks like it. But uh, if you've caught as many flatfish as I have, you will know exactly when you've got a big one or when you've got a regular one. But there is another big one. That is flatty number two. Absolutely stoked to get that. That was fairly quick. Number three came about 15, 20 minutes later. And uh, I'll show you in a second how I actually catch it. This is the one I think I use as the thumbnail. A big fat kissy there for the flatfish. Bring it the hell on. And I want to use the swordfish so badly. It's been months and months since I've been able to use it. Well, trying to use it. And here we go. This is flatty number four. I think it is. Another good one right there. And then we're going to have flatty number five again. All in the same area, guys. Literally within a stone's throw. And this is how I do search for it. You go slowly with a boat. Don't go fast because you'll scare them. Row slowly with a boat using your radar all the time and the second you spot one that looks kind of suspect then stop straight away because it'll take about maybe five seconds for your fishing option to be accessible as you hold down on the d-pad but uh, the second you do find one uh, just for uh, reference you can get a large sturgeon here the small sturgeon in this area as well is also one of the missing fish but i didn't bother with the small halibut and the small sturgeon because not for the uh not for the swordfish. As you can see again, just rowing slowly until I see one. Ah, there he is. He's always, always, always going to be on his own. If there are two swimming together, then it's not going to be a biggie. This was just in my experience, guys. And uh, let's throw this guy out. And this was a quick, quick reel. Only a couple of seconds for the sucker. And that is going to be number five. Now, I did this at all different... Uh, different intervals because I went back and then realized I needed two more then came back and I needed three more and so on but now we are in Norway so right over here is where it tells you online that you need to be there is the original home there but uh, you see the, the black rock in the middle I faced that so I, I'm on this landmass that I'm on right over there I go to the next one where that picture is right over there and face down to that little black rock in the middle as I will show you in a second, just to my left from here. So there's the sunset, and then to the left is going to be a larger black rock there. This is where I caught both of my of my fish. And again, they will be, or in my experience, they were on their own. As you can see, there he is right there. And I was like, oh my lord, is that, is that it? I mean, it's a big feat. It's a big thing. It's been months and months and months since this has um, actually had a fix. And this is, again, just a temp fix, guys. Uh, they're going to release a proper fix in uh, June sometime, 
but he was just too far away to get a good look at him. And uh, in the end, I could see that he definitely was a big one. I could feel because this was a uh, pretty, well, this was a quick fight. The second one was a super long fight. So it's going to differ from, uh, from person to person. But again, my favorite looking fish, hands down, in the game. As you will see here, I try to get him in the sunlight. Just enough sunlight to have a look. Awesome patterns, awesome fins. Amazing looking fish. Absolutely love it. Super stoked that I actually have the swordfish. And you need two of these guys. Now again, you will need a couple of other fish to actually get the swordfish guys. But uh, in the description, you can have a big fish guide and a complete fish locations guide. So check those out. No need for me to do it again. And uh, this time, I'm going to be on the right hand side. I did actually catch three in the end. Uh, the other two were by the rock I just mentioned, and the third one was just the other side. Exactly the same um, rock or island, mini island, just uh, facing north this time. And you can see very telltale signs that he is definitely the one that we want, the large mackerel. And I think this one was a fairly long one. I'm not sure if I do skip ahead. I wouldn't have shown the whole thing if it was too long. I'd probably reel him in right now. Come on, sneaky little puff adder. Yeah, here he comes now. But there we go. Once you have five flatfish, I'm assuming you haven't got any flatfish before that. You have to fulfill the previous order to unlock the swordfish job. There we go. Done and dusted. Large mackerel. Or big mackerel, if you will. Okay, now we're going to head back to Ravensthorpe. We go back to this little ball bag over here. And he's going to be asking us for the fish. So right over here, this is the original order. Very happy to see that. Goodbye. And the large mackerel right there. Look That's been five, six months in the making right there. Then you have to exit out and then go back in and the new job will These be there. And again, guys, I'm not going to show you battles uh, with it because, well, it is 2.30 a.m. in the morning now and uh, I didn't realize this update was on. But you'll need big salmon, big halibut and the regular eel. And again, there's fishing, gu fishing guides in the description, guys. And you can check those out for the locations for those particular fish. But uh, as you can see there, this was recorded Look prior where I don't have the three Not big flatfish. So this was recorded before I went back for the three flatfish right there. I was like, oh my god, no. I have to go back and catch three more of those things. But I did in the end. And it worked out yes. perfectly. So we come back again and we got the three flatfish. And we can deliver these three and get our swordfish. It looks amazing. I'm going to put up a video 100% tomorrow, guys, um, once I've got it max stats. And uh, I'm going to put in all the best runes. I want to make it as powerful as possible. And then I'm going to go and attack some enemies. And I'll do another video on that definitely well tomorrow, as in today. But guys, that is going to bring us to the end. I really hope you enjoyed the content. If you have any questions at all, ask me. I'm always going to reply. And uh, if you are enjoying the content, guys, pretty please smash that like button. And if you really are, then subscribe. So guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I want to catch you on the next one.